<laughs> is this thing on? Um, hello, welcome to another vlog. This is your girl Morgan of I'm Morgan Ashley. We talk a little bit about reviews, hauls, vlogs, whatever it is. I'm gonna talk about it here. Um, it's been a while. Your girl has not put a vlog out in a while, but that is okay. Um, it is now June 25th. I think the last one was in May. And that's fine, you know, but we're back and we better. Um, um, I have a couple stuff going on this week. Not really that much, but I am back in the mood. I feel like myself again to start vlogging. So I want to pick up the camera and that's what we're gonna go do. Um, it's actually, I'm working from home today and I need to run out to do some, I'm running out for my lunch, AKA do some errands. But it's like, I don't really have that much time to do so, but I'm gonna try to see what I can get done in the time that I do have and bring you guys along with me. Um, I need to run to the UPS store, run to Target, um, run to Aldi. And why did no one tell me that Aldi is really that girl? Um, I have not been to Aldi since like high school, like 08 when my best friend used to like work there in high school. <laughs> and then I also tell when I go to, oh, I wanna go to Trader Joe's too because those days where I don't feel like cooking, I do, like having the option of having something frozen a prepared meal and i think trader does trader joe's does that fast um aldi i saw some but i wasn't really intrigued by any so i think i'm gonna run a trader joe's as well but again we on a time limit y'all but quickly before i head out um and we could do a life update little updates um here and there between the vlog um but it's not much going on but it is but anyways my outfit details um let me flip you guys around but okay so shades are celine um i actually got these almost a year ago i got these i bought these when i was in new jersey but i had them pick up in nordstrom and here this is like my first luxury purchase so that's so cute and i would say um i need to get these fixed on the arms because these actually give me a headache if you're interested in these hopefully yours don't come with the arms super inward because these irritate me um this tank top is target i got this probably like a couple weeks ago i got a, all the colors in this tank top i really like this tank top um i will link it in the description description box for the bag we're wearing our coach wavy dinky um and the black and white patchwork our white linen pants are from target as well but these are like two years old and they're a little big um the drawstring is super tight um target actually came out with like a newer version of their linen pants that i really enjoy um so i'll link them below um i do want them but it's like i'm just wait and then for my shoes i'm wearing just my arizona love bandana platform like where are they like truck sandals i don't know what you call these but super comfortable and i need some height because these are pants are very long and that's the outfit so yeah let's go oh and i guess i could quickly do some home updates there's really not that much um let me see what's new i don't think you guys have really seen my house let me move these covers but the main updates have been in here again i don't think um there's not much m new to share, I don't think. Um, my Birds of Paradise is gone. It died. So now I only have these two plants. I've shown these planter. I believe you guys saw this chair. I love this chair. It's a swivel chair. Got this from Home Goods. I believe you guys saw this when my mom was in town. Um, and then I got this new side table. She is super cute, right? This is like, you know, that marble top marble i don't know if this is marble like wood whatever but it's like faux marble i love the detailing it's like a deep dark brown chocolate brown with this cream the base legs are wood this um and it's black i got that from home goods i felt like that tied in really well um of course the black <clears throat> with the media center and then the marble the marble the marble um i just like different tones textures materials that's like my theme for this living room um as you guys can tell but that is new and oh the rug i don't think you guys saw the rug but i got the rug shortly after my mom um left i got this from i think the one i got from wayfair 
but she is super cute i was very nervous of the light material i can say she is i don't know if you guys see it but there has she does get little marks here and there but i figured i do like get one of those bissell cleaners um eventually when i move to like just spot clean her but overall she's been pretty good because i don't really wear shoes in my apartment and no shoes on this rug of course but she's textured i love her um i just really wanted to do a neutral floor because i feel like with all the different colors and tones and textures and materials that i have going on with the furniture the the rug needed to be a neutral um they don't have the pants but they have the skirt that i have the crop top in this is janae nailer's collection this is a 12 now i know it's tight 14 the waist is going to be way too big it's cute the booties poking. I got the skirt. My only thing is that I did not realize with this skirt. Why does the skirt cost $36? Oh, Janae, girl. Ooh, child. They pricey so I mean, the skirt is good quality with the gold detailing. But, child, I didn't spend so much money on this collection. But that's fine. We supporting our girl. But it's very weird that when I bring it up, it says Project Glory on the screen. I, you would think it would say like Future Collective, Janae Naylor. So I hope she getting all the points in like calculations of her collection because that's very strange. But let me turn the air down. Um, I came to Houston Galleria because they actually had the size that I needed in the cream pants. I don't even think I showed y'all. Well, I'm about to head to another Target, the one in Meyerland, to see if I can see if they got them. Um, I got my red pants at the Houston Meyerland. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my video before this. It's the full um, collection of Janae Naylor's Future Collective collaboration with Target, drop one and two. I picked up the um, like asymmetrical draped pants from drop two and uh, the red and the, I did not showcase the tan, but I actually ordered those when it officially dropped on Sunday. And my tan ones, my red ones are large and I fit, and I feel like they fit great, but I ordered the large and the tan too, but I feel like the tan ran larger because the large of my tan is super big, like the waist, but a little bit on the thighs. So I wanna see if I could do a medium because I already need to get them tailored for the length. I'm not trying to get the waist taken in too. So I wanna try on the medium again. I did initially try on the medium with the red, but it was too tight. So I don't know. And I know, I know I didn't lose that much weight in a week and a half, so we'll see. Um, and then I think you guys heard me in the fitting room, that purple skirt, I have the matching crop top to that. So I didn't think it would work, but I think it's super cute and I have the same color in the vest, so I feel like I can wear that to work. Like, I think that would be super cute. Um, that skirt is actually, I take my, I take my thoughts back on that too. Janae, you just getting all my coins. But let's go to the one in Ireland because it's hot. Um, and Houston Galleria one, chow. Mm, this the ghetto. This the ghetto. <laughs> the heat is here. Um, but we are back in the house. I look crazy. I look very, very crazy. Oh, chow. All the little run around is out for hours. Um, Target was a no-go with the pants. I can show you guys. You don't know what I was talking about. But these were the Janae Naylor Future Collective pants. Again, there's a haul on my page prior to this video. These were the red. And these were a large. And to me, these fit good. And then I got the tan. I ordered the tan because I'm figured in the large, I'm like, it's the same pant, they're gonna fit the same, but I'm like, these fit looser on me and I don't know why. Let me put them next to the, oh, they are bigger. Oh, well that's why. Look at it, cause I'm like, what? Okay, so it is just the tan. The tan is running, the tan runs big. That's crazy, oh my gosh. Look at all that extra space. Cause I'm like, my red don't fit like that <laughs> if you saw the video oh uh, i'm gonna show you guys actually these are the red and these are a size large y'all see the y'all see the six pack coming in the 
four pack yeah but anyway so these are the large and the red okay now y'all see how these fit now let me show y'all the tan me throughout the thighs i feel like it fits good but there's like way too much room in the waist area so i mean they fit good but i'm concerned if i get the medium <sighs> the medium is probably gonna be too tight on my leg and i really i'm not about to go alter i'm not about to have to get them hemmed and altered in the waist because they would have to take out like oh these because these are I when I got these I was like why are these fitting so much larger than the red ones and I was like I dressed and I was like let me put them up to each other though these are way wider in the waist because look how they fit me compared to the red ones because I went out today trying to find a medium in this color because this color obviously runs big well, in the waist, because it's like they fit me good in like the thighs, but the waist is even, it's too. And I'm like, because I was like, oh man, I'll just return it and just keep the red pair. But then I'm like, trying them on again, I was like, this color eats too. This color is good. But. And you look fine, you couldn't order a medium? Well, no, I could order a medium, but I wanted to ask your, you see, the waist is just way, is way bigger than, in these than the red. And they're the same size. No, because I would all because I need to get them sort of take the the bottom, and if I got that, that would be please. But this color is nice too, though. That's my whole thing. Like, because I was like, maybe just just do the red and just not get these. But I'm like, this color is nice. But you see how my thighs? I'm that's why I'm like, because I tried on the medium when I got the red, and. It was just too tight. It was way too tight. But these. But I'm. But my my question is to you: Should I just should I order the medium or should I just return them? Well, if you really like them, I would order the medium. No, these are nice. This color is very very nice. I recognize you. Didn't recognize you at all. That's the last thing. Look at that. Look at that. That's like the old size figure. Now you just want the medium. Too bad you can't get two because they're probably different sizes. That's the quality of the work. Yeah, that's crazy. It's the same exact pant. Then the fact that that's that's a lot that's a lot bigger. <laughs> All these. These white cheddar puffs, these are super good. Um I've already went through one bag. Love those. Um all these wine selections very is somewhat affordable. I've tried two wines so far. Um, so this is the third one that I'm trying. This is special selected Cotes de Provence Rosé. So it's sparkling, right? Oh, I don't think this is sparkling, but it's a rosé. The other two that I have gotten, I've gotten two rosés and they've been good. Um, the sun-dried tomato wraps, I really enjoy these. I eat these with tuna fish or ham and cheese or turkey and cheese. Um, some maple syrup. Um, some uh, pineapple juice. Um, some chocolate chip granola bars. things of baby spinach i do baby spinach in the morning with my eggs i usually every morning i usually eat three eggs um the full egg with spinach and tomatoes and then i'll either do like a sausage um chicken patty or these which i really i i love these from aldi these protein waffles the buttermilk and vanilla flavor these are so good this is probably like my third or fourth box I eat these too so if i don't have the so chicken sausages then i'll do waffle like to balance it out um i had to re-up on my cheese so i got these white mild cheese sliced cheese um 
with also Kobe Jack sliced cheese. I got some smoked turkey breast. I like this. Um, and then some shredded mozzarella cheese, some Mexican cheese blend. Another thing of turkey breast meat. Um, I got the Caesar chopped salad kit. I got some honey crisp apples. I started to eat apples. Um, I honestly think apples help my stomach slim down. Um, sunflower chopped salad kit. And then I'm trying this big old meal. This is what I really should eat. I'm probably gonna make this tonight. This is a meal kit, fettuccine with Alfredo sauce and grilled chicken. Um, this is, this feels like a lot. But it's about six servings. Um, so I'm gonna probably make this tonight because it's refrigerated. Even though I took out some, I think I took out some turkey tenderloins, but I like to make the chicken tenderloins each week and I just use my cast iron with the grilling, the grill lines. And I'll usually just like season it with salt and pepper, um, Worcestershire sauce and some like soy sauce. And then I just keep those in a container and I eat those with my chopped salad. Um, so that was Aldi. Let me put this up and then I'll come back with Trader Joe's. We could go and buy Okay. And from Trader Joe's is mainly all um, frozen stuff. So I got my favorite Noki and Gargonzola. I love these. These are my favorite thing. Um, my turkey meatballs. Love these. Um, I got their hot and spicy chicken wing sections. I got a barbecue chicken pizza. I've had this before. These are good. Everything I've gotten, I had pretty much. Um, since I was running low on my chicken sauces, I'm trying, this is new, chicken breakfast sausage patties. I have not had Trader Joe's kind, so we'll see how those are. My Thai shrimp gyozu. Um, some little treats when I'm feeling froggy. Some apple blossoms. Um, hold the cone ice cream vanillas. I have never tried those. I have tried these. I love these. Um, these grilled chimichurri chicken thigh skewers. I love chicken thighs and I didn't buy any chicken thighs. So I was like, let me try these. So hopefully they're good. Um, these, um, this Korean sweet potato glass noodle and vegetable stir fry. I've had this before. This is really good. Um, the vegetable rice noodles and tofu. Um, this is vegetable pad thai, it's vegan. It's vegetables, rice noodles, and tofu in a savory, sweet, and spicy sauce. I've had this before, this is really good. Um, again, these are stuff that when I don't feel like cooking or like when I'm down and don't have anything else to cook, I have this or you know, those days where you're feeling lazy. Um, so hopefully this lasts me like three weeks because I've been going to the grocery store every week. So the only reason why I should be going to the grocery seat, grocery store weekly at this point is just to re-up on my spinach and water, cause I go through water fast. So spinach, water, and like my apples, like that type of stuff where I don't like to buy in bulk cause I don't want to waste it. Um, my organic roasted seaweed with sea salt. Um, I got some sweet chili sauce. Um, I had to re-up on my favorite pickles. If you follow me on Instagram, I think I posted this because these are so good. Um, organic sweet bread and butter pickle chips. I love Trader Joe's. To me, they just taste so good. Um, also had to re-up on my hot and sweet jalapenos. These are super, super good. Um, I'm not even a spicy person, but when I like make my, um, those sun-dried tomato wraps that I showed you from Aldi, how I eat those with like my tuna and cheese, I, I wrap that up, put that put that in the oven with the pickles and the jalapenos, banging. And then also with the turkey breast, banging. Those are like struggle meals, but they're also like quick, easy, healthy um, like lunches or dinners if you don't feel like cooking. So love these. And pickles typically are zero calories, but since these are like the bread and butter, um, these are like 30 calories. 
and then the jalapenos are 40. You know, just to make it interesting and make it interesting instead of just like your wrap and your cheese and your meat or your tuna. And then of course I had to get some dark chocolate, my favorite dark chocolate with almonds. And then I have not tried this one before, but this is organic dark chocolate bar with almonds. But I'll be having cream as well. Um and then this Italian blood orange soda. Now I I hopefully because I feel like my weight loss in the last three weeks have been attributed to me primarily just eating everything I had to cook and I have not really been eating bad of course I've gotten snacks but it hasn't been really bad but we'll see how everything turns out because all of this frozen stuff is like you know prepared and like processed so hopefully it's not that bad um and like I've only been doing water I don't know we'll see but there's just you know and my weight loss has not been me stop eating things that i like i you know so i've been eating how i want to it's just portion control and make healthy choices today's the first day that i bought in food out in three weeks i went to i think two or three weeks i went to canes and got a three-piece combo because i was starving i had a headache coming off um and then i got the smoked apple um chardonnay chicken sausage love these and then I got some, um, what is this, chicken drumstick. I like dark meat. I like chicken drumsticks, chicken thighs. My favorite part of a chicken. My mother hates that, but whatever. And then I got my favorite type of shrimp from uh, Trader Joe's, which is the Argent raw Argentine red shrimp. This is so good. If you've never had this this shrimp from Trader Joe's, get these over, you know, normal, um, normal, normal, um, shrimp so good and they're wild caught so yeah that was it i spent 76 dollars at aldi and at trader joe's i spent about 96 dollars so you guys can see i feel like i got well i did get way more at trader joe's i don't know but that was a haul <laughs> okay i wanted to try on this dress again you guys saw this with me trying it on in the fitting room um i saw this dress I don't remember who had this dress on they were like i feel like it was that girl i don't know her name but she's she's like she's very petite she has a nice body but she's known for like the target haul try on hauls um on instagram and i think it was on her and i just kept thinking about this dress like this chocolate with this brown like i just kept thinking about it and i saw it today and you guys saw me try it on i don't know if you guys but you guys saw it in the fitting room um i have one in size large i'll link it below in the description box but to me this is just so sexy like i think this is so perfect like i'm giving a lot of cleavage yes i know that but like when i pick you guys up and show you the dress is long like it's to me it's it's a very like tasteful sexy type of dress this is like a perfect dress for date night um because we manifested those two this summer so like i feel like this is just an easy dress to throw on some like do you want to run to do you want to grab drinks do you want to go to dinner like yes i got outfit to that it's just so simple but it's so pretty to me and the chocolate brown y'all when i get a little sun kiss oh like hello and to me it fits perfect like you know it's a slip dress so to me the waist is not too big and it fits okay i feel like i could have i don't know a medium would have been way too tight on i feel like this part i feel like it fits it fits perfect and my chest would have been old in but like with a simple black heel that i put them on these are just simple stuart wiseman um simple you know little heels and then a little clutch a black and then even with like my hair up like if it was cute well your girl is about to get her stomach here you guys will see that shortly but this would have been cute even with the hair up oh i love this y'all isn't this a banger let me know in the comments below if i should keep a return i should have kept y'all recording when i called my mom she said absolutely not and she said look big the dress is big obviously i can't size up because of my titties i mean size down because of my titties but i don't think this is big down here oh okay and i finally <laughs> took off the other dress 
Um, so y'all saw this one too. As we know, it's a little tight in this area, but we gonna continue to lose weight. And but I wanted to try it on with the top. I just think this is actually so super cute. I actually very much like this. Like, this is a size 12, this is a size large. Like, hello? This is super cute. Super. Oh. Well, I forgot also that this doesn't fit. <laughs> um, so, I mean, hopefully I continue to lose weight and this can close, but since I, let me see. Since I can't close it, I could do the bottom one. Yeah, no. It's a no, cause my titties are too big. I mean, don't mind that. Let's let's unbutton this because this is obviously not giving. But do y'all see the vision? Like, if I were able to like just button it, it's giving very much Sunday service. I feel like um, with the vest and the long skirt, but work appropriate. You're able to switch up and wear these pieces individually, wear them together. Like so it is a little tight, but. You know, I continue to lose weight. But I think overall, besides right here and like this little, it fits me well. So now I'm over here going, now I'm over here going to the collection to make sure like every piece that I have that I'm in love with, child. So I do think, okay, so I've come to the conclusion because I am supposed to be not spot spending. So I am gonna return this because of the chest. So I'm gonna return this dress. And then I do think I'm going to return the white shorts out the collection because originally when I was thinking about getting the shorts, I was only gonna get the black because I felt like the black went with the black vest. I could wear the black shorts with the white vest. And also now that I have that other black top from the collection, I like the black and the black. But, so I think I'm just gonna keep, and also this part that I had a problem with, to me it's less bad, worse on the black pair compared to the white pair. So think about what I will actually wear. So I definitely like, the black and the white together so interchangeable so i think i'm going to just keep the black shorts i'm keeping all the vest um the purple vest though now i'm thinking like should i really should i keep the purple vest the purple vest is so good though i like with this top but do i need the skirt that is the question do we need the skirt you guys do i need the skirt the skirt is so good this is so hard oh I'm trying to think of three ways you can wear the outfit. So purple vest is a like no go. I can wear it to work with a camisole underneath it. I can wear, hopefully when I lose weight, I can button it up. I can wear with this, um, dress up, dress down, and the skirt though. So I definitely feel like I can wear two piece. Would I ever wear the skirt without this though? That is probably the question. I probably would never wear the skirt without this. So, because of that, I think I am gonna return the skirt. Because I would never wear this without this. Compared to this and the vest, I wear the, how I styled it in my video. I can wear it with jeans, I can wear it with the white short, or I can wear it with these black shorts, but I probably never would. But I also, so I just got in from Target, and the skirt is still here. <laughs> I told, I got on the phone with my mom to see what I should return. She was like, I really like the way the skirt fits. You should, she used to keep it. And um, I was like, well, can you see me wearing it um, like different ways? And she was like, yeah, with like a white tank top or whatever. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I also, ha I also have like a white linen um, top that like ties and like collared. So I kept the skirt, but I returned the white shorts from the Janae's collection. Um, I returned that black, the brown slip dress. And then I also returned, oh, those cream pants. I'm gonna order them in a medium though, and hopefully those work out, but I don't know. 
and my girl math says like since i had already bought the white shorts and you know that money already came on my bank account like this the it was sort of like an exchange for the white shorts even though the white shorts were four dollars cheaper than the purple the skirt so it's like not really like i bought something today because i returned the black the slip dress that i bought today so yeah everything and i had already bought those pants so yeah i didn't really buy anything today so i only spent almost 200 dollars on groceries that was it so i'm okay with that but um it's 7 30 now <laughs> and I still have a long night ahead of me so I think I'm going to let my phone charge I need to go to the gym I haven't been to the gym in a few days but for tonight I need to wash my hair um, I'm going to do a protein treatment I actually bought Afigy like two in one treatment because I saw something on TikTok a hairstylist was like before you get protective styles you really should do a protein treatment and then after you do take out like braids you should do a deep condition so your girl is getting um boho knotless tomorrow um and that was the other stop that i had today was the ups store paja so um the girl that i'm going to she's i'll wait until to make sure that i'm happy with my my product my service before i mention who it is um but so she provides the braiding hair but of course i have to provide uh, my own um human hair for the strands um well she could actually do it but if i wanted to do it i would only have to pay 15 dollars extra so yg wig so i bought two i'm getting small knowledge so i'm getting i bought two um bundles of um their deep wave double drawn hair and a uh, length 20. Um, my braids are still gonna be I'm not getting butt length but waist length for me I'm hoping they're gonna go like right here and I wonder if like she can keep this longer because I sort of want the length in this hair I don't know we'll see but I just went with the 20 inch um instead of the 18 so we'll see um but I want to deep I'm gonna dye this jet black because I want I'm getting one for my braiding here and I would prefer this be black black and I can already see the brown, so I'm gonna dye these black. I don't know how that's gonna work. I've never dyed. Okay, I ran out of memory, so I don't know which last, but y'all saw these, I think. Y'all saw this, this, then I got this, and I'm assuming this is for someone to braid your hair. I don't know. But YG's wigs, let me, they are legit. I would say that customer service is A1. And the hair, I mean, it feels fine. I really don't know. We'll see when it in my braid, I'll give a a review eventually the wear and tear i plan on keeping these braids in my hair for like two to three months so y'all will know um but i can say initially good and i'm hoping the service comes out good and i'm hoping i love my braids and yeah so yeah but that is the night y'all i need to go to the gym wash my hair protein treatment blow dry it dye this black and yeah i'll check in with you guys in later <laughs> I just got in from the gym. I did a quick, whew, I did a quick 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. That's not really quick. Um, but 45 minutes, I burned like 500 sign calories. You guys saw the clips. And I figured, I figured I'd show y'all this because I didn't know it was just a microwave. It's literally just like warming up in the microwave. Step one, open pasta pouch and spread evenly in black microwavable tray provided. Shake sauce pouch for 10 seconds. And, okay. Spread it evenly. Evenly. bad boys did any of y'all see bad boys for life i don't remember the fourth one i went to the movies by myself and saw it. i enjoyed it i enjoyed it i can't i don't know the first two are always gonna be my favorite i feel like i don't even remember the third one 
Um, but I feel like it was good, but I don't know. Oh, also, while I'm thinking about it, because I just seen an ad from her. I look crazy. Vlogs ago, I had mentioned that I had got the ballet tights, and someone asked in the comments, how do they fit? Well, we will never know, because months have went by, like two months, and I finally decided to try them on. Cause my mother was like, you never got back to that person. Y'all, they ripped on me. I did not wear them out. I literally was pulling them up my leg. I don't even think I had, I don't even remember if I had nails on, but I was putting the tights on like you normally would. You would scrunch it up and just pull it up your leg. Y'all, the tight just ripped a big, it just had a big old hole in it. I emailed them, nothing they can do. I think they gave me like a $20 credit. Mind you, the tights were like $50. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna say those ballet tights, if you were thinking about them, highly, would not recommend zero out of 10 because there's no way that they should have ripped like that. I honestly feel like I got a sample because as soon as she posted them the first day, I was probably one of the first orders. I got my order literally like that. So I feel like this was a sample and quality control was not it. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. If whoever had wrote that comment um, on one of those videos, I don't remember, but if you're watching now, yeah so unfortunately but i do have two linen shirts from her that are great quality but the tights highly would not recommend but in other news <laughs> uh, let's try this mm. it's all right this is very garlicky for Alfredo. Just want to put that out there. So if you don't like garlic, I would not recommend this, but it doesn't taste bad, it doesn't taste good. It is what it is, but I'm gonna eat it. Y'all. Okay, so cleaned up, straightened up, but not me turning on the shower and thinking about to wash my hair and forgetting that I got these bumble clod, dirty, dingy old braids in my hair. So, we're about to sit and watch Bad Boys 2 and take these braids out. This is gonna be a long night, y'all. It's 11-11. I don't know why, why did I wait so long to do this? Who knows? But, I got my tools, my water, my leave-in conditioner to take out braids because we don't take out braids on dry hair. My tangle brush, a tie, and a comb. So let's get to it. Now we can Ooh, the next Rhymes video on 1222 we're done yes. this much I got my <laughs> isn't washing your hair like so tiring but it's so refreshing Whew, it takes so long to wash my hair what time is it 112 almost an hour to wash this hair uh but do we see the growth hello I mean that's just the bottom though I wish my hair all around was the same length. I mean, it's not that bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. I do need to find a natural stylist still here. So if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. I separate it into four parts and wash them individually. I'm sure y'all probably know, but just share what I do for my hair. But these are the products that I use right now follow i'm all over the place sorry but i'm also trying to follow this is how i wash my hair but also i'm trying to follow how the woman the hairstylist on tiktok suggested how you should pre-treat your hair before getting braids so she's suggested to go with, go in with cleansing rinse um do cleansing shampoo two times and she suggested a moisturizing shampoo I, and now we are about to do this protein treatment the lady suggested you do protein treatment. I have never done a protein treatment myself. I hope I don't mess up my hair because I typically do not get protein treatments. When I okay, so comb apogee two set protein treatment evenly. So do you just put it on the hair evenly through towel dry? I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea. So do I just like Oh, do I put it in my hand? I don't know. Y'all, let me know in 
the comments, am I doing this right? I should've went to TikTok first, but I don't have time to keep looking stuff up. So, I'm gonna just put it throughout the hair. I feel like I'm wasting bad product. Okay. And then it says comb through the hair evenly, right? We will see. We will see. So we're back here too. We're about to blow dry um, on hot and the highest one. Now this is gonna get loud, but this is how I'm gonna do it. I look like Frederick Douglass. <laughs> okay, um, so. We're gonna take this. This water is on boiling. Um, let's pour it in here. Okay. And then let's uh, pour it in the bin. So we're gonna pour this in here. Or brown, because this is brown, and I don't want brown hair. I'm gonna just dip it. So, as you can see, these are both bundles, and I'm gonna let them sit in here. I guess it's 217 right now. I'm about to wash my hair and blow dry it, and then when I'm done with all that, so probably like an hour probably like an hour and I'll rinse this out and hopefully it's dry by my eight o'clock appointment. And I just wanted to provide an update after the treatment, you saw I dried, let it sit in, rinse it out, did the moisturizer, just kept it in for like two minutes, really 10, rinse it out. And this is my hair, it's fresh washed. Um, I mean, I don't really feel, see a difference or feel a difference with my curls. I actually think my curls looked better when I initially washed my hair before the treatment. Um, but I guess we'll see. Hopefully we see some growth, maybe. 351. My hair is blow dried. This is what it is. I do feel like, um, you see how it's so thin on the end? So I definitely do need like a good cut. Like I feel like all this has to be cut because it's not thick. I feel like when my hair is not blow dried, it looks thick, but my hair is really not that thick when it goes blow dried. When I blow dry it. Um, but this is why I want a natural hair crown. So I need my like, I need this to be thickened. I don't know. Or is this, I feel like it should be thicker. Like I feel like it's see -through. Oh well, this is my hair. It's time to I'm put this in two pigtails and wash this hair out and blow dry it and go to bed for like three hours. So good night, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's 7.33, I'm about to head out the door. My hair, I honestly don't think it, I, my hair, I honestly don't know if it turned black. I think it got darker, but no, I feel like it didn't get dark. I feel like it's still dark brown but whatever um it's still damp so hopefully that is not an issue i'm gonna be vlogging from my phone just because i don't want to take my camera and yeah i'll see you guys when i see you do we see the braids do we see the braids we love it shout out to emma emma does hair book her she's from atlanta very new to houston so, so book her very nice neat braids very efficient priced well okay I came here at 8 o'clock. It's 
Two o'clock, y'all, and I'm out. Small knotless boho braids. This is good. Love them. Book her. My legs are backward. They've been backward all day, I did not know. But don't we love the braids, y'all? I just got in. They are mad long, though. Um, I feel like I want to cut them because they're mad long. Um, like, they go all the way. It's the hair, but they're mad long. I feel like I'm going to have to cut this. I don't know. But I love the braids. Shout out to, um, you guys saw her. Emma does hair on instagram and tiktok i found her on tiktok she just um relocated from atlanta but she is fast efficient neat um priced well um so i would highly recommend this cost these are the small knotless um i would say if you i would say when i went to africans before for my small small knotless um, she even said that their small knowledge are considered her extra small. So I would say that, but I feel like, um, you know, up here is more so real small and the back might be a little bit wider, but I mean, I still feel like I got a good deal, especially she added two bundles of hair that I bought from YG wigs and I love it. Um, it was dipped in the water, um, and the curls look banging. Um, I think this will age really, really nicely. It is nice and full. Um, so yeah, this is the double drawn deep wave 20 inch hair from YG Wigs. I'll leave the link below. And yeah, y'all, it's basically 2.52, 3 o'clock. I had a nail appointment at 5.30. I'm extremely exhausted. Um, Cause y'all know I did not go to bed till like four or five o'clock and I was up at 6.50. So um, I did call to try to get it so I could just go, but they didn't have anything. So it's at four, so in an hour, when I'm about to eat something and just relax for an hour, um, get my nails done, get this mustache waxed and come home and go to bed. Um, I plan on going to the gym today, but I think that's a dub. That's not gonna happen. Um, but I just wanted to come and check with you guys. I did stop at, um, I brought mad snacks there too and I didn't eat anything. I ate one granola bar and some coconut water. Um, but I'm mad hungry too. So I stopped at the beauty supply store like five minutes away from her suite. I got two um, luxury satin wide edge braid bonnets, um, a black one and then a print one just to spice it up. And then this is what she used in my hair so I just, since she already put it in there, I'm just like, I'd rather get the same one she used. This is the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers by Stasha Harris. I guess this is a collaboration with Shine and Jam. But it's just a setting mousse for braids. Um, and I think it activated the curls relatively good. Um, so I'm just going to use this. And then I bought some Ambi. Real old school. I haven't used Ambi in a decade. But I'm going to see if it can fade these dark marks um, a little bit faster. So... Yeah. Good morning. It's the next day, but it's the same clothes. <laughs> We're about to go to the gym, um, and I'm wearing the same clothes that I wore to get my hair braided because I only had them on to go get my hair braided, and we might as well just put some sweat in them. But y'all, I'm exhausted. I'm still full. I feel exhausted, but I am rested because I knocked out so fast yesterday. Um, um, I don't think I picked you guys back up, but once I got home from getting my hair braided, I, I ate some food. I waited about an hour and then I got my nails done just to refill a cut down and went back to a normal French tip. I had a squiggly French tip before. Um, and then after that, I went to Ulta um, for some pickups. Literally, I dropped everything here. So let me show you what I got from Ulta. Uh, my first off, uh, I don't even think I showed you. I went to the hair store too after going to, I think I showed y'all that, yeah. So from Ulta, I got um, a re-up of my favorite NYX lip gloss, the butter gloss and fortune cookie, love this. I got NYX's clear sugar glass color, never tried this, but it's just a clear gloss. I'm trying Milani's Make It Last Matte um, as another, finishing spray 
because I figured I use Charlotte Tilbury while I do my makeup to melt everything together. I use Morphe and then hopefully this will lock it in because um, I ran out of one size and one size is just so expensive. So I got this. Um, I got Black Opal's, uh, I don't even know what they call this, a true color stick, foundation stick in the color Snatched. Um, it's a couple shades lighter than my normal contour color. I want to use the, this lighter brown to contour my nose just because I have not been loving my makeup. So I don't know what's going on with me. Y'all know how every couple years, like your makeup, you don't even like it or you just, just, yeah. So I'm going to try this in a new technique to contour my nose. Um, I got this e.l.f. brush. It's a liquid blush brush. I actually am going to use this, um, for my... Uh, liquid blush or cream brush cream brush my rare beauty blush stick or whatever um so i wanted that i'm trying the maybelline fit me press powder in the color 330 i know the girls rave about this i haven't used regular drugstore makeup in forever so at this point i'm trying whatever um because again not all expensive products work so we're gonna see how this works so we'll see, I'm gonna use this before my Huda Beauty um, powder or my one size powder that I really use in the pink to see, cause I did like the pink. I did try that when I was in Connecticut and it looked really, really nice. And that is all we got from Ulta. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. But yeah, um, that was all that I did yesterday. And then I came home, went to sleep, I woke up Fell asleep around eight, woke up around like two, tried to stay up till nine to watch the new CSI, but that didn't work. Um, was up from two to five and I just woke back up. Um, it's literally nine o'clock, about to go to the gym. I am back at work today, but I'm working from home. And yeah, I'll pick you guys up probably later um, to check in, but I just wanted to say hello, good morning. My room is a disaster. I don't know if you guys can see in there because I was trying to figure out, I'm going to dinner tonight. Um, Toka Madeira Houston opened up um, last week or a week and a half ago, I think last week, and uh, no, two weeks ago. And I'm going there tonight for dinner reservations. And I had this whole look in my head and I don't know if I'm gonna wear that. <laughs> so we may make them all run, I don't know. But I was trying to figure out an outfit and just use my closet, but y'all, y'all know how that goes, so. We'll see. The Zara just started their sale today, so we'll see if we find any. This is so cute. But titties, of course. Day dress. These are the ones that are a little bit too big. Those are cute. Oh my god. This is a large. Okay, look at I love this dress. Again, titties. I think it fits okay. Super sexy. Super short on me, obviously. It's a medium, but I like that I can get away with my saggy breast because they're hidden. Definitely wear this as a top. This top is super cute. It's just my chest because I cannot wear a bra. I have a feeling maybe I can like tape up my breast. I don't know. 
but the back is all out. And you just tie it. Super cute. These pants. I love. I actually think I've had these before, but I ripped them like two years ago when I went to Dallas. So definitely getting these pants again. This top. So cute. H&M now. This is just a tank top. Super cute. Got the silver detailing. Hey y'all, so I just got in. I quickly wanted to show you what I wore tonight. Um, y'all saw footage of Toka Madeira. Uh, well, this is what I wore. Old H&M dress, Valentino bag, Givenchy Rossi, gold sandals that I've had forever, Michelle watch, David Yerman ring. This ring is from Etsy, um, diamond ring, diamond tennis bracelet, and a vintage Chanel bracelet. And my Chanel button earrings. But let me know in the comments if you guys like this outfit. 
yeah i thought it was super cute i love my braids um i'm still not liking my makeup i tried some new stuff today the fit me powder would recommend um but yeah i don't know my contour of my nose is trash now just not in love with not in love with anything like i like me here in this mirror but here this is not cute i don't know but um i'm about to just make take this makeup off and go to bed um this may be the end of the vlog um that was a lot of light this may be the end of the vlog but um oh let me quickly tell you about toco madero so toco madero was really good um i had the branzino and i had a gold again i don't know i had a margarita but it's pretty basic one but it was still good came with the fire and stuff um and then also i shared a mac and cheese which was good then i had the buttercream brown buttercream cake or butter cake it was really good um and yeah that was it the bill between three of us we each had an entree was one side three drinks it was only like 300 dollars, so 100 dollars each basically um well with a tip um Oh, I guess if you sign up for the app or sign up on the website with email, I think you get $50 off. So if you do go, I guess do that. Cause um, yeah, I don't know where the coupon was, but it was on an app somewhere. So go look that up. Um, but yeah, I would go back. It was pretty packed for a Thursday. Um, I sort of want to go there just to, you know, sit at the bar and mingle. Cause it was a lot of men in there. Like that was the only place I've been in forever that there was more when than women um crazy but yeah it was really good but okay like i said um before this if this is the end of the vlog thank you so much um i hope you enjoy the few days or a couple days with me um yeah i guess i will see you guys in the next one if you are not subscribed yet and you enjoyed what you watched so far so far please do not leave this video um, or leave my page without hitting that subscribe button and make sure you like share comment everything on this video love you guys so much um let me know in the comments below what kind of sit down videos would you like to see um maybe what i've picked up for this summer or i haven't really been buying luxury but i have a couple pieces so let me know if you want to see something like that um i have to start my fragrance collection i'm not the fragrance girl but at the same time all of my fragrance like 10 are all gone at the same time so i've been slowly buying fragrances so maybe i can let you know what i've been buying um yeah i don't know but let leave it in the comments below we, we need to have more conversations on these videos too y'all i want to build a nice community like can we talk talk in the comments <laughs> okay but i'm babbing but yes thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this is your girl morgan ashley i'll see you in the next one bye Drought and famine, natural disaster.